ingredients already cut up. The first thing I did was I boiled a, si a 16 ounce, which is one pound box of rotini pasta. And I also added a tricolor 12 ounce box of the rotini. Because I'm gonna make a small bowl of vegan pasta for my daughter. So look out for that recipe. She's a vegan. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the ingredients as we go along. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my mayonnaise. I have this mayonnaise today. Now when it comes to mayonnaise and pasta, I usually try to put a little extra because the pasta really absorbs the mayonnaise after you mix it and when it's sitting or the leftovers sitting in the refrigerator. When you put it in the refrigerator, it absorbs all of the mayonnaise. So I'm putting three of these spoons in to start. And that's probably about, it's probably almost a cup of mayonnaise. Next, I'm going to put my onions in. Next, I, I chopped up three stalks of regular celery. And as I said, I'm going to just save a little for my daughter. So you can pretty much judge for yourself how much celery you want in it. I love celery. Some people don't like celery at all. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, some red wine vinegar. You can use whatever brand you want. I use Regina a lot. That sounds awful. So I'm just going to, it's pretty strong, so... I think I put about a, a third of a teaspoon. Now I like to use yellow mustard in my salads if I'm going to put mustard. This is optional so I'm going to use some yellow mustard in it. So I put about I would say a teaspoon of mustard. Now I'm going to Open up my cans. I'm going to use this Star Kiss, one six ounce can of Star Kiss Chunk Light Tuna. And I'm also going to use a nine ounce can of Star Kiss Solid White Albacore Tuna. I open the tuna and use it pressing down on the lid. I stood over the sink and I squeezed all of the liquid out. I use the tuna with water in it. Some comes with vegetable oil and some comes with what I use the one with water. I don't know why I talk like that. Why don't I just talk regular? I don't know what I'm doing as far as my talking. I don't feel good today. I've been sick. I've been sick since Saturday morning and today is Friday so tomorrow makes a week. Now as far as the solid tuna you have to kind of Take your fork and chop it up. Oh, you smell that tuna, don't you? I'll give you a little piece. Like every time I open a can of tuna, my cats show up. I'm gonna give you some storm and warm it. I'll give you some little um fatter. Don't go near her, she's gonna jump you. I'll give you some fatter. So I chopped it up right in the can and then I'm just going to put it in there. This is just your regular everyday pasta salad. Of course there's many variations. You would use different kinds of seafoods. You could use shrimp. You could use different kinds of pasta, different vegetables in it. But this is the fastest, easiest, everyday pasta salad. So now I'm just going to spread this around so I could 
Make a little space in the middle with the mayonnaise and I'm going to start putting the seasoning. So I'm going to use some Lori Season Salt. I used about a teaspoon of Lori's. Grind some pepper in it. You know when you use a fresh ground pepper, it's stronger than the pepper you buy that's already ground up, so be careful. I ground up about a half a teaspoon of pepper in there. You could use more or less to taste. And garlic powder. Here's some garlic powder. I used about a three quarters of a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then I have some smoked paprika. I'm just gonna put some inside of it as well as garnish it with paprika. So I put about a quarter teaspoon to mix in. And we're just gonna mix this joker. Now I'm gonna put chopped boiled eggs in it. But I generally do that last because I don't want the eggs to get mushy with all the mixing. Now we're just mixing it up to make sure it's all blended evenly. Make sure you get all the pasta that's on the bottom of the bowl as well. The pasta on the bottom of the bowl, let me show you. Well, I guess I mixed it good already. Hey Stormy, what are you doing? What's the matter? What are you doing? <sighs> my cats are mulling around my feet because I opened tuna. See, see how that this right here doesn't have the mixture on it. So you have to make sure all of the pasta has the mixture on it. And then I'm gonna taste it to see if I need to add anything else. Okay, so I chopped up four eggs, hard boiled eggs, and I'm just gonna add that. And, and now when you mix the eggs and try not to just harshly mix it like try to just fold it in fold the eggs in so they won't mush so when I make the vegan salad I'm not going to use tuna fish or eggs because vegans don't eat any kind of meat any kind of living creatures and they also do not eat dairy Sometimes you could go to a restaurant and they'll say they have a, a vegan option and then that so-called vegan option has cheese or milk in it, which that's dairy. So that, you know, a lot of people are not really um, educated on different forms of eating like vegans, pescatarians, vegetarians. A vegetarian, they don't eat red meat or poultry wait I don't think vegetarians eat any kind of meat but they eat dairy a pescatarian eats dairy and fish but they don't eat any kind of uh, meat or fowl like chicken or turkey or anything they only eat seafood and some of them won't eat shellfish now for my liking I would put a little more mayonnaise in this but a lot of people just don't like a lot of mayonnaise. I was supposed to put the relish in before I put the eggs in, but you see my mistake. Okay, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put just that was about 
three quarters of a cup of sweet pickle relish. That's also optional, but like I said, for everyday macaroni salad, macaroni and tuna salad slash pasta salad, people from my community generally put sweet pickles in it, chopped pickles or sweet pickle relish. From other communities, a lot of them don't put the relish or the eggs. I'm trying to just fold it in so, as I said, so the eggs won't get mushy. All right, here goes the taste test to see if I need anything else in it. It's a perfect amount of vinegar, perfect amount of mustard, perfect everything. So I'm gonna add a little more seasoned salt. And I think I'm gonna put a little more pepper. There's nothing worse than under seasoned food. There you go, now I'm just going to sprinkle some paprika. You could use plain paprika, but I don't know if I have plain, plain paprika right now. I'm just gonna sprinkle some smoked paprika for garnish. You could garnish it with anything you like. You could use broccoli florets. You know, if you're having company and you wanna make it look really pretty, you could grate carrots on top of it. But this is just good old plain macaroni salad. Macaroni and tuna salad. 